Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're having a good day as always. My name is Michael and thanks for joining me. So next week is going to be one of America's favorite holidays and no, I'm not talking about Thanksgiving. You know I'm talking about Black Friday, right? If you don't know what Black Friday is, and I highly doubt anyone watching doesn't know, but it is absolute pandemonium for consumerism. It's a day where all the manufacturers and retail outlets and all that other stuff put their things for sale for, honestly, sometimes for really steep discounts, but in the hope to drive consumerism and purchasing, right? Because it's so close to Christmas, obviously millions of people turn out from like, what, 2 a.m. to God knows how long, waiting in line outside to buy TVs and laptops and cell phones and video games, clothes, whatever it may be. If you're looking to buy anything at all, more than likely you can find it on sale during Black Friday. Now, I don't want this video to be kind of viewed as a judgment or a criticism video for those that participate in Black Friday. Instead of what I want to do is just have a conversation about really to me what it reflects as far as like our society goes and how it affects me personally and possibly could affect you and instead just have a conversation and determining is this really worth it and what does this say about us. Right now again if you don't think this is a problem I think you're probably kidding yourself and though it may be a little cliche to show this stuff in action have a look. Now look, I do understand that this is not the case for everybody. Not everyone goes out and tramples people or stabs someone or steals something from a little girl because they'd rather have the discount. I know that's not everyone and it's probably not you either. But what I do think is this reflects something that's just kind of wrong with us, right? You know, I'm, I'm not above it. I've totally participated in a Black Friday in the past. Like I was, what, I think my young 20s, I didn't have a TV for my apartment and I totally waited out in line like at 4 a.m. at a Target to go buy a crappy Westinghouse TV that I ultimately returned anyway. So again, I'm not above this. I'm not criticizing you. I 100% understand the appeal of a good deal and saving money, right? But what I do wanna think about is why do we do this, right? Why are we really ultimately going out and waiting in lines to go buy something, right? And more than likely, it's not because it's some deal that you absolutely cannot pass up. Like, let's look at it this way, okay? You may think that you're saving money on whatever it is that you're buying, right? Let's take a TV, for example, because that always seems to be popular. Let's say that there's like a TV for sale, right? It normally lists for $500, there's $150 off, and you decide to buy it because hell, why would you not want to save $150? And even though it did cost you less than what it originally goes for, you should really ask yourself, did you save money? And the answer is no. Obviously, you didn't save money. You just spent less money than you normally would, but ultimately, you still lost $350, right? So looking at this as from a saving standpoint, I think is a really a stupid way of looking at it because it's not saving you any money. You're just losing less. Also, I cannot help but assume that many people, probably in the millions, are going out and financing Black Friday, right? And to me, this drives me up the wall, right? It's one thing to say, you know what, I've got money, and you know, I'm just gonna go buy something just cause I want it. I don't like it, but hey, I understand it. On the other hand, it's totally opposite to say I'm in debt. Um, I'm in debt because I buy things. And so what I'm gonna do is go into even more debt by buying even more things that I can't afford, right? So please, if you are in credit card debt or personal loan debt or anything like that, please, please, please avoid Black Friday cause you don't need this extra stuff and you certainly don't need to finance this extra stuff. Another thing that I want to talk about is, you know, are you buying something that really you do not have and it will provide actual value in your life or are you just upgrading something that you already have, right? I honestly think that my TV, I think it's like a 2010, it's a plasma and it might not even be 1080, right? I think it might be 720p, right? And even though I would love to have some new fancy Sony 4K TV, that TV works just fine. It's really going on strong. And the last thing I need to do is waste money on a new TV that probably isn't going to be that much different than what I already have. So again, are you buying something that you really don't have and it's going to add value to your life? Or instead, are you just looking to upgrade something that already functions perfectly fine?
The last thing that I would want to ask is if you happen to have participated in, let's say, last year's Black Friday or, you know, multiple Black Fridays over the years, like whatever you bought, did it radically improve your life or your family's life? Like, is your life significantly better because of this purchase? More than likely, it would be my assumption that no, it really didn't have that much impact on you. And instead, that money could have put to better use, whether it's savings, investing, paying off debt, regardless, more than likely there was a better application for that money. So that's what I want to talk about today. Black Friday 2017, are the deals worth it for you? Personally, I will not be there, but again, I've made the mistakes in the past. So are you going to be out there at 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, waiting in line in the cold weather, hopefully not waiting to stab someone for that TV, but regardless, are you going to be there? And if so, why is it worth it to you? But that's what I want to talk about today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. You know what to do, but take care. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I know I just said this stuff, but let me say it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. And to support you, here's two more videos that I've made in the past in case you haven't seen them. Don't forget to share these with your friends and family so we can help all the people achieve their financial goals. Likewise, if there's anything that you would want to see made that you haven't seen thus far, definitely don't hesitate to let me know. But thanks again, take care, and have a good day.